Here's why I do not condemn Hamas. I'll make it quick. Now, it is now December 2nd. And the conversation is, um, which is disrespectful, still October 7th. I don't like that. But here's why I don't condemn. You are now watching AK Debris on YouTube. Now, the USA, Canada, France. By the way, shout out Trudeau. I respect him for actually saying the truth. Uh, <clears throat> the same countries that are allowing Israel to continue in its uh, hate crime campaign, because that's what it is. <sighs> These countries supposedly follow international law. International law supersedes American law, French law, and Israeli law. It's the law that we are supposed to follow. The same people who lecture about it all day don't enforce it. But here's the thing. According to international law, not me, not Hamas, if a foreign invader tries to do to you what Israel is doing to the Palestinians, Again, according to international law, for an invader come in and try to do you the same way, you are legally, according to what international law, <clears throat> you're allowed to resist. What does resist mean? It means resist with bullets, resist with whatever. So let me ask you, Taxpayers and governments. The law says that the, there was an agreed upon border uh, in sixty seven, which Israel could not uh, did not keep its. It did not stick to the deal that they had. <clears throat> it over uh, exceeded. It's it's it's. It's like okay, you told me stay over here. That's you. That's me. Okay, but then slowly you come and take a house. And be like, but, but yo, that's my part. Ah, by the gun, by the IDF. These settlements are illegal. They gave you a border in 67. They said, you okay with it? It wasn't right, but they agreed. Yet you still continued and pushed and pushed and pushed with the backing of your army. That's an illegal settlement according to the same international law. So, if we going by that law. I come in in an illegal settlement and resist. Blah, 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 blah. Everybody in that settlement. You kick me out of my crib, I come back and pop everybody in that bit and take my, my home back. Am I a terrorist? No. It's an illegal settlement. So according to the international law, Hamas has the right to exist. You're allowed to form a militia and resist with bullets or whatever available. That settlement of Israel is illegal. Therefore, even if what happened, which is not true, on the 7th, <clears throat> the story that I walked in, innocent, they didn't do that. And I'll explain why they didn't do that. But even if they 
even if we imply for the sake of the argument that they did, it is not terrorism, according to international law. Anybody is a landlord here? You own properties? Okay. Let's say I come in one of your properties, and I just sit there, and I have a shooter outside the house. Every time you come ask, yo, bro, who are you? You're not paying me rent. If you resist my shooter with your shooter, who's in the wrong, me or you? I'm in a crib that don't belong to me. <laughs> right? So according to international law, forget what the media is telling you. This is stuff that is factual. You can go and check yourself. And the expansion is continuing. The borders were clear in 76, 67. But yet they're still gone. As if they needed to do that in the first place. Like they got welcomed in the 40s. They didn't have to go to war and, and massacre and ethnically cleanse. And, and now we're animals. The reason you call them a terrorist is because of your media. And the term terrorist has been stretched out to include women and children. During the Israeli protests, pro-Israel, in the U.S., which is full of this racist people, really. Either racist or you got some money to gain or something. There were signs that said, trying to justify what's happening. They said, uh, it's cool if you kill a baby or a child in Gaza because a child in Gaza is just a Hamas in training. Here's the thing, bro. If you got a problem with a group, if I just met you, Forget Israel and all this. And you got a problem with one group, like Hamas, I get it. We all got beef. But if everybody you got a problem with, and somehow you're right, they're all wrong. Like, why would you be afraid? If you if you got a problem with one person, it is. But if you if if you want me to believe you're right, but like why are you going and popping children before they even grow up? What are you afraid of? If you got a problem with a shooter, I get it. But if you're afraid of the woman and the children before they grow up. That means you know you're in the wrong. You know it. American government knows they're in the wrong. That's why when they go to Turkey and Muslim countries, Anthony Blinken show up with a bulletproof vest. Why? He knows he messed up. The guy with him, you can look at his face. Yep. So every the whole world is wrong, and you're right. No. And your defense, horrible. Just hate speech. Attempting to sway the West using hate speech. Hit the like button, smash the subscribe. But I'll leave you on this. If you were right, no matter who you are, Israel or any other person in the world, if you were right and your your opposition is wrong, why do you hide their their voice? Why do you have to censor it?
If you're right, you're just right. Truth shines. Truth is truth. But if you have to hide the other person's voice, I'm going to talk to the government. The governments that are participating in this suppression, censorship. You are the same people that always said, <clears throat> you have nothing to fear, you have nothing to hide. Okay, what about you? What do you have to hide? Genocide? I'm going to save it because uh, I just wanted to explain why I don't consider Hamas a terror group. You said they were like the government. Okay. When you come and kick somebody at their home, if somebody do it to you, who do you call 911? Who does, who does the Palestinian call? Who can he call? His 911 is Hamas. So he's just supposed to take it. He's just supposed to just let you do that to him. If Hamas is the government and he calls 911, Hamas is going to show up, right? Who defends these people? Hamas. So how can I condemn them? You get to have nuclear and you want to drop it on defenseless people. I can't even... Give them the right of self-defense. Your right of self-defense is to carpet bomb everybody and threaten with nuclear. But they can't even... Nah. I can't even feel bad for them. Terrorist? What is a terrorist? Define it. It likes my sub. Terrorist. <sighs> Next week. I don't condemn him. I don't condemn Hamas. 